there. So for today's video, we're gonna be focusing on organizing, decluttering, and fixing up here in my daughter's room. So I do have two daughters, a teenager that is 15 years old and my youngest who is six, who they do share a room. So it's a big age gap, but we always make it work out great for them. Um, so as you can tell, I started off here in the closet just putting some items on top that they do not need down or they're not using or anything. So we just went ahead and stored them up on the top. We have to clear off the dresser up below the TV. It's just full of so much stuff. Their blankets are actually in the wash now. You guys can see I'm removing some items out of the room. So that is actually Jayla's table. It's going to be leaving the room as well because she's no longer using it anymore. And it's just turned into a junk drop and go area that just makes the room even more cluttered since the room is very small. But I hope this video brings you guys motivation if you guys are cleaning along with me or if you guys are in need for that motivation just to do some light cleaning or decluttering or a more deep in job, whatever it is that is on your, on your to-do list, I hope you go ahead and tackle it, filling the motivation in today's video. Besides this table having tons of clutter on top, inside is not any more better than what it was on top. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly take everything out, put it on top of the girls' bed so my older son could go ahead and just remove this out of the room already so we could have that extra space that we definitely need. Um, but that's what I'm going to be doing here once I have everything on the bed just a lot going on on the bed I'm gonna start going through and decluttering and throwing away so much stuff um, that she looks just no longer need and everything plus the room was a bit dusty so there's areas that I, that I actually had to go in and dust and then wipe and all of that stuff <laughs> Now when I was filming this video, I did not have like an area to organize her books or anything, but luckily one of my neighbors went ahead and passed me down a book organizer. So it didn't pop up here in this video because she gave it to me days later. So her books are no longer here struggling on this dresser. Although it took me a very long time to figure out how I was gonna put them to stand and not fall since she's only six. And like when they're smaller, they just want to pull and go. And it's like things, the books were just falling to the sides and everything. Like it was not working out. So I'm just so glad that my neighbor handed me down that little bookshelf. So I was able to put all of her books here. And then she had a book fair at school just recently. Um, so we were able to get some more books. Have we actually added more into that 
bookshelf and she's just loving having that bookshelf it's so functional for her as well but now i'm going to go ahead and remove the side table from my older daughter's side of the bed and then just give it a really quick sweep it was a bit dusty plus i will also have to vacuum all around here so that's what we're going to be working on now um the girls have tons of stuffed animals i've already got in rid of a lot of stuffed animals but i still have more stuffed animals but I don't know how to display them or where to put them at because Jayla likes to play with them still. And so if you guys have any ideas for stuffed animals, please let me know in the comment down below. So now that the bed is pretty much all cleared off, I'm going to go ahead and just dust off their little nightstand um, lamps and then I'm going to divide the stuffed animals and put some on Jayla's side of the table and some on my older daughter's side of the table. There you saw my daughter dropped off the blankets that she just got out of the dryer. Like I mentioned before, their blankets were actually in the wash. Um, so once we're done clearing off the bed, we'll go ahead and start making the bed and then once again i have to go back to this dresser since a lot of stuff were redumped on here but it's just pretty much stuff that don't belong in the room anymore and i'm still trying to figure out how to organize this whole area it was definitely a struggle but after that i'm gonna go ahead and vacuum the rest of their carpets as well every place it's the things i do do After I'm done vacuuming this side of the room, I'm going to go ahead and quickly wipe down their windowsill. It was a bit dusty, um, so just a little reminder if you haven't wiped down your windowsills, make sure you guys go ahead and check those as well as the blinds. I actually pulled it down and dusted them off, but I didn't. I figured that I had recorded that part, but apparently I didn't, but I just want to let you guys know that I did. Okay friends, so you guys saw me earlier, I moved Jilla's desk where well, I actually took it out of the room because in this area, her desk used to be down here, but in this area, I have something that I, my husband is going to be hanging up from me. I'm going to share with you guys in just a bit. Um, but she hasn't been using the table there or the chairs. That's why I just went ahead and took it out. because So their bedroom already has a king size bed. And it's just 
it's a small room for both of them so it was just unnecessary clutter that was just being there and then you guys saw it was just piled up by so much stuff it was turning into just like a drop zone for Jayla and my other daughter um so we went ahead and took that out and now I'm gonna go ahead and show with you guys what I want my husband to hang from the ceiling down and it's gonna be so cute um I'm excited to have it hanged up Jayla does not know my older daughter I had already mentioned it to her but she hasn't seen it either but it's gonna be um something for both of them or if they have like cousins or friends over well they could use it as well it's gonna be great for like a little reading nook area or something um but yeah I'm so excited to share it with you guys especially for Jayla to see it like I mentioned she hasn't seen it so I will go ahead and catch her reaction on camera once we are finished putting so it up. this is the box it comes in it's a sensory swing it says enjoy some cozy and quiet time and then here on the back part it actually shows you like what comes with it it's a pre-assembled swing so there's one in there there's the daisy chain instruction guides all kinds of screws and hardware and all of that stuff and then it has like instructions here so it does hold a capacity of 200 pounds um so it's suitable for ages three years and older you could put it indoors or outdoors like hang it from a tree or something we don't have big trees so i'm gonna go ahead and hang it inside the house well in the girls' room but i'm gonna go ahead and turn the box over so you guys can see a little bit what it looks like so they do come in three colors um, this is the blue and like a black color, the blue and the green insight, and then a pink with the gray insight, like gray black insight. So this is the one I actually had ordered. I wanted this one, um, but they were out of this one. So they actually sent me one of the blue ones. I haven't opened it yet, so I'm not sure if it's the blue and black one or if it's the blue and green one, but if it's possible, I'll turn it inside out to, to like have the blue in the inside and then like the inside color out. I'm not sure if you could do that, but we're going to go ahead and open this up. Um, my husband is actually working today, um, so I'm going to have to wait a little bit more until he could put this up. But the swing itself comes in this cute little tote bag that's like a waterproof kind. And then you guys saw on the back, it said it had like all of its hardware and screws and all of those stuff. And then, of course, this is going to be, yeah, this is the manual on how to set it up. So all we're going to have to do is look for some sturdy beans up in the ceiling. My husband could figure out how to do that, all of that. And I will go ahead and share with you guys once it is up and what it's looking like. I'll probably even add in the process of him setting it up. But I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down because I'm so anxious to open this package up already. Because I'm, like I mentioned, I haven't seen what color it is. So I'm going to go ahead and put you guys on this tripod and we're going to go ahead and open it up. But I opened this part. It's like a very, very soft cozy like a silk material and I know it's waterproof and like I mentioned you could put it indoors or outdoors hang it on a tree or something it's water oh, weather just quickly resistant unwrapping it I already noticed the color that's inside so it is a green one um I guess it'll still work but it is this fabric is very like heavy weighted also and then it has this which I'm not sure what it could be but this is supposedly where it's going to be hanging from I know it's like an open back because I saw pictures of a little girl that was like using it as a airplane swing kind of thing so yeah see so it's open to the back and then it just it's like so long so it has this part here where they could sit stand swing whatever lay relax read a book play some video games watch something on the phone okay so i went ahead and flipped it around it's not like an option that it gives you but i went ahead and did it and i know it's not an option like it's not the way it's supposed to go because once i flipped it around you could see like the sewing part from this side 
here and when it's on the extra side like you can't see it but it's not a problem for me it's gonna be nicely hidden um so i turned it around because the girls are not like have anything blue in their room so i figured the green will look a whole lot better because they do have certain green colors not as bright as this green but it's still green um for example they have green on this wall some plants then their comforter like the one of the pillowcases has like green on there and then i'm going to start going in and bringing in some more real life plants into the girls' room they have it more like a little boho style in here um well they have one plant like this snake plant that's here and that's pretty much like the only live plant that's actually in here now um but once it's hung it will be like here hanging it and leave the information in the description box and all of that fun stuff for you guys there any questions go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below. so we're gonna go ahead and start hanging the swing from the ceiling like i mentioned so you guys can see here my husband is just uh, searching for the beam up in the ceiling he's using this one super handy beam stud finder i'm not sure what it's called and just measuring out um he's pretty much familiar to where it's going to be at because he works in construction now he does concrete but he used to do buildings like many many years ago um so yeah so he's just measuring out and making sure how far away from the wall i want it and checking all of that once that is done he has marked where the area is going to be he's just going to take a level to make a straight line for when he drills both of the holes where he's going to be screwing the attachment that's going to go to the ceiling. Here we go, I put this miserable song on repeat Cause you seem to forget how much you are hurting me do what's right you say you will but then you don't you just don't you don't care cause you don't take me seriously what's there to repair if you don't want to talk to me you should know your time is up i'm out i'm So you thought I would let this live Thought you knew me so much better You're on a lifetime sentence So now you never feel my presence So you thought I would let this live Thought you knew me so much better So this is how the plan, the swing turned out So you can see it's a bit off the ground Not very much Because Jill is still very small And I want her to be able to reach it And not like struggle to get on it or fall off or something like I had mentioned before it is um, like an open back so they can use it like airplane swing I've seen that they could also like put their feet on here and then just stand in it and swing so you can go ahead and adjust it different ways you saw my husband try to put it up with just this on the hook that's way up there but it was way too high for Jayla to reach it um, so we went ahead and added the strap so this strap has these blue parts right here and it's like a chunk where it's divided for every one of them it's like there's several we had several of leftover um string left so we just went ahead and bundled it up like wrapping it around so it's not just like hanging super long but it all depends on how high you guys want it once again if it's your child is big you can just easily attach this part all the way to the hook that is right there if not you would have to use this part right here to go ahead and adjust it to their height um and while Jayla grows well eventually we could push it up um but yeah that's how the swing is looking now I'm gonna go ahead and call Jayla and I'll let her test it out um, and show you guys Plus, we're also going to get her reaction. Like, I mean, she has in solid, but she knows she's getting a surprise, but she doesn't know it's a swing in her room. But I think it just looks so cute over here in this corner. Her desk used to be in that corner previously, if you guys saw that. Um, plus, I like that it's working out for like a little reading nook. 
then she has her books here she actually has one in the living room she's reading right now so she's been so much into reading okay, are you ready for your surprise mm -hmm. are you excited mm -hmm. what do you think it's probably gonna be um i don't know you don't know you ready to see it yeah. okay three two one open It's a swing chair. You want to try it? Okay. And how do you get on it? Okay. So look at. You see how it opens and it has a front and a back. So you would sit on here. So open it like that and then sit in it like if you're going to sit in the swing. Take well, off your sweater. Sometimes like with someone that has it like this, you can tie yourself in yep. swing. Yes, you could do that too. You want to try it? I don't think I'm so. I don't want to swing like this. It's you want to take off your sweater off your hips? Well, I'm gonna How about it's gonna break? It's not gonna break. Oh my gosh! Good length or else your dad has to pick it up again. Because it does stretch quite a bit. <laughs> I think we should put it taller, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. How about you should put it a little up? Because okay. You have to, you open it and you sit right here. See? Sit right there. Like that. <laughs> is that if you lean back, you'll fall back. So if you want, look at open, get off. Or you can also like put your foot through here and put your back on this side on one of the sides. Oh, like when you go upside down. No, watch. Put your foot in there. Put it in all the way in. Yeah. Okay, sit down. No, with no, with your arm that way, like that. Okay, now sit. Sit down. See, like that. Uh, see, you can even put your foot in here. And you can stretch it open. Okay, I'm gonna have Dad pick it up because it is very low for you. What's low? It's like touching the floor, so we're gonna have to make it more higher. Yeah. Well, I can't okay. look yet. Yes, right well, there, we're gonna try with the stool because yeah. my husband lifted it a little bit for her. And I put, hold on. I put a pillow inside there so it stays open because um, she seems to be struggling a little bit. But I'm thinking that I'm probably going to sew this from the back so she doesn't fly out. So I'll let you get in there. Show them how you're going to get on. So she's using a little stepping stool. Much better, huh? Mm -hmm. Now you can read your book in there, huh? Can you get out easily? Huh? Can you get out easily? I think so. Yep, easier. Huh? I want to get in there. You want to get in there? Well, I want to go like this. You want to do like airplane? Okay, you could do that too. With the pillow in there, it's easier for you because it stays open. <laughs> well, sometimes. But it's in the corner, so it doesn't give you a lot of room to fly around. Well, Mom. Yes. So, you can have yourself upside down of this. Oh yeah? How do you know? Because I saw on YouTube. You saw on YouTube? With the kids. Oh my gosh. With the kids. Oh yeah? I want to try Mom's kids. She's connected to my YouTube yeah. account so whenever she wants to watch I... YouTube she watches it under my account so I can supervise what she watches, watches at the same time. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Ow, ow. Do you like it? Huh? Do you like it? A lot or a little? A lot. Is it fun? Yeah. Do you think all the kids are going to like one of those? So should they go check the description box to get one? Should they yeah, tell their, their mom and their dad to buy them one? Yeah. I want them to buy them. You want them to buy one? Uh-huh. All right. I want my friend Zephy to buy one and Twyla and Alyssa. Oh, you want all your friends to buy one too? But <laughs> Zephy's your cousin, not your friend. Twyla and, and Alyssa are your friends from school. Well, Zeph is my friend too. She's your cousin, baby. Mm. The sun. I'm flying on the sun. Look at the sun right there. Uh -huh. Oh Look my god. Look at the gosh. sun right there. A blue sun. Uh -huh. Fly on it the looks more like the sun is in the trash can over there. Where? Where? That balloon looks more like if it's the sun. Okay. 
So that is all for today's video. Here are some relaxing shots of Jill enjoying a book on the swing. She uses it a ton. She just loves it the same as my 11-year-old son. Also, it's just the perfect size for them. Like I mentioned in the little text before, all of my kids tried it out. But my 6-year-old and 11-year-old are the ones who use it the most. So if you guys are interested in this amazing product for little kids as a gift for your child or your niece, nephew, or whoever... Go ahead and check out the description box and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. See you all in the next one. Bye. Take me your arms. Do just what you want.